I'm getting ready to set sail today on a seven day cruise with my fiance and her family. And I wanna show you all the freedom that I have to travel after healing ulcerative colitis. And I'm not gonna bring anything that I typically consume on my protocol. I'm not bringing raw milk, I'm not bringing fermented vegetables. I'm just bringing a bottle of probiotic pills and some supplements, and I'm going to eat anything I want to on this cruise, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Take two. This is my fiance, Kara, my sister-in-law, Allie, and my roommate, Ben, because staying with my fiance before we're married is inappropriate. It's a no-no. Nice try. Whoops. For those of you who don't know, I was diagnosed with severe ulcerative colitis in 2014. So I spent the next two years experimenting and trying different things that would allow me to fully heal because I wasn't satisfied with remission. I tried several different things, but what finally allowed me to achieve the level of health I was looking for was optimizing the gut microbiome. I'd seen this idea flitted across several different research studies and thought there had to be some significance. I began to consume raw, unpasteurized milk, lacto-fermented vegetables, along with grass-fed meats and a variety of fruits and vegetables that contain prebiotic, soluble fiber. I also exercised consistently, which I later read in a research study is extremely beneficial for people with IBD because it helps to get the lymphatic system flowing and allows a functional trafficking of immune cells. Fast forward to today, and I have colonoscopy proof that I'm in clinical and endoscopic remission. But this type of freedom, this is the real proof. Day one of the cruise complete, ate a lot of great food, had a lot of fun with the family, and after dinner I actually came back to the cabin and grabbed six to eight capsules of this Metamucil fiber, which is basically just psyllium husk. I only take this when traveling and only for the purpose of keeping me regular. I know I'm going to be eating a lot of low fiber foods and probably drinking less water than I should be, so I take this because it forms a viscous gel that bulks up stool while also being a natural laxative. It's just an easy way for me to make sure things keep running smoothly and regularly while traveling. Not having urgency is great, but I also don't want to be stopped up. I'm also making sure to still drink bottled water because I don't want any chlorine in the water that I'm drinking because that's still something I just avoid like the plague. And since I don't have any access to raw milk or fermented vegetables on the cruise, I'm still taking this supplement, which is a probiotic supplement by Fluorocore GI. It's Fluorocore GI by <laughs> AST Enzymes and it's awesome, I've used it in the past. So that's it, that's all I'm taking, and I don't have to worry about urgency, blood, diarrhea, anything. I get to get to eat what I want, hang out with my friends, with my family, I get to go on excursions, I'm not worried about soiling myself, and I'm enjoying a cruise, and it's awesome. And I've worked really hard to optimize my gut microbiome so that I can be here, so that I can do these things, and the freedom is just so satisfying. So day one was awesome, day two is gonna be even better, we're gonna work out tomorrow, we're gonna eat a lot of great food, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Day two, just got back from breakfast. This morning when I woke up, I took six capsules of the Fluorocore GI AST Enzyme Probiotic Supplement, and I drank two bottles of water. And then for breakfast, I had an omelet with spinach, mushrooms, jalapenos, and then a lot of fruit. And so now we are getting ready to go work out, and I came back to change, because it is now really warm today. So here we go. The gym was pretty packed, so we started with dumbbell military press and kind of went to whatever thing was available at the time, whatever free weight options were available, and just kind of went anything that was upper body. Threw in a little chest. Hit another shoulder machine. And then threw in biceps. Post-workout sauna, I love the sauna. I enjoy it so much, I feel very relaxed afterwards, get to sweat, get everything out, just feels really, really good. This was actually my favorite place to eat lunch. It's basically like Chipotle or Freebirds, if you've ever been to one of those. Basically, you just get to build your own burrito. So I got beef and basically every vegetable that they had available and also their habanero sauce. Delicious. Then I went to the Mongolian grill. I love Mon Mongolian barbecue. Loaded up on vegetables. I think this time I got chicken and wow, that plate looks good.
And then for family game time, I decided to have a little bit of lemon cake. Being able to have the freedom to do this, to travel, to not be worried about urgency, bleeding, diarrhea, that's, that's awesome. Just got back from dinner. I had lamb shank, tilapia, rabbit, Greek salad, hot chocolate lava melting cake, which is delicious, and two scoops of ice cream. Absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna spend the rest of the night going to shows, comedy sketches, and whatever else we have to find for entertainment. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So this is our actually our first excursion and it was in Cozumel. That place was pretty cool. The weather was nice. We got to go walking around, met a few people, took a couple tours uh, before we went to lunch. This place was delicious. They had this fresh squeezed lemonade, which uh, which Kara thought was pretty tart and sour. <laughs> it was really, really good, very fresh. I got the fresh squeezed melon, which was also really, really good. It was crazy foamy. And then for the actual food, I got the enchiladas with red sauce, chicken enchiladas. I love Mexican food and this was delicious. Put a little bit of habanero hot sauce on there. I also like my food really spicy. I, I'm not joking, this stuff was, this was probably the best Mexican food I've ever had in my life. I thoroughly enjoyed this meal. Finishing off strong with some shark empanada. I'm really full, but I'm gonna keep going. So after lunch, we got to do something I've always wanted to do my whole life. Never been scuba diving, and this was so cool. Although, very quickly, we realized that uh, I am not an aquatic creature, as I was almost kicking Kara, doggy paddling. I'm just, I'm, I'm meant to be on land. to go explore these caves which was really really cool and there's fish swimming in and out of them all the time it was just unbelievable experience again don't have to worry about urgency no bleeding no blood I wasn't soiling myself while scuba diving so it was just a just a blast you don't have to have that added extra stress or that fear at all Our dive guide said this is the first time they've seen an eagle ray in about 10 or 20 years, something like that. So he said we were crazy fortunate that we got to see it my first time scuba diving. So this was awesome. He was chasing it with the GoPro to get the shot. Check out the stinger on that thing. And 
there's me bringing up the rear, as always. <laughs> Just got back from spending the day in Cozumel. We ate some really awesome, authentic Mexican food. I got enchiladas with red sauce. Then after that, Kara and I went and scuba dived. She's gone a couple of times before, but this was my first time and it was so cool. Got to see a couple stingrays, fish, be underwater, go to some caves. It was really, really cool. I accidentally woke up a couple hours earlier than I was supposed to, but I got to walk out on the deck and see the sunrise. I mean, are you kidding? That is so gorgeous. Creation never ceases to amaze me. We just got back from an excursion in Belize and we are absolutely starving. So we are going to eat pizza and burgers at the buffet on the cruise ship. And that's gonna be awesome. The burgers on the ship were to die for. Thick, greasy, and seasoned really well. I really love a good burger and fries. Packed it with onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, and banana peppers because I really like my food spicy. Although banana peppers are not really spicy, but the idea is that I like spicy food. <laughs> I also really enjoy some pepperoni pizza. And again, I don't eat this very often. I don't eat this very often at all. I much more prefer to eat a healthy, structured, gut microbiome optimizing diet at least five days a week. I just feel so much mentally better knowing that I'm physically taking care of myself, but I don't wanna be confined to that. I want to be able to travel like this with my friends and family. And I wanted to be able to eat things on the weekends or while traveling that might be bad for me, but allow me to have enjoyable and memorable life experiences with the people that matter to me. That's what healing is to me. Just finished eating the pizza and the burger, so right after that, I'm gonna take some psyllium husk capsules, mainly because the burger and the pizza are really, really low in fiber, and I wanna make sure that those things keep running smoothly on the way out. Then we got dinner in a couple hours, and it's gonna be delicious. I could look at the ocean for hours. Watching the waves and seeing how vast it is has a very calming and almost therapeutic effect. It's just a great way to slow down and take things in. Now I've had a couple cups of coffee this week already, but kept forgetting to show them. I typically drink black coffee before exams or something that requires me to be very mentally alert. But on the cruise, I threw all the rules out and had half coffee and the other half was cream, milk, and sugar. The excursion to Honduras was canceled today due to weather conditions, so we are actually headed back to Cozumel. We have a free day at sea today. Karen and I just worked out. I'm in the sauna, and we're about to go eat lunch. Went back to the Mongolian Grill to get another stir-fry bowl. Even while traveling, I like to get in lots of vegetables and fruits and onions and things like that because I honestly just like the taste and texture of them. I also love potatoes. They're my favorite source of carbs, and I also enjoy salads. Dessert was key lime pie with a big bowl of fruit. The pineapple and watermelon were really good on the ship and it was already cut up, so of course I had to get some. I really like just about everything. Going back to Cozumel for our last excursion was really a huge bonus. The food is so good and the beach where Kara and I went scuba diving is a great place to swim, relax, and just enjoy being out there. We also got to see the sea lion show, which Kara and I both extremely enjoyed. And then at the end, Kara got to go get a kiss from the sea lion, and she had so much fun doing this. There it is, there's the kiss. <laughs> she was thrilled. 
Karen and I had some chips and guac for pre-lunch snack, which really hit the spot while we were hanging out on the beach. And then for lunch, we went to another awesome, authentic Mexican restaurant, and I had a blast. I don't even know if this drink is called. I think it's called Jamaica, and it, whatever it was, it was delicious. I got some beef tacos with cilantro, onions, and of course, I added their habanero sauce to it. it Mexican food really is my favorite type of food. Then for dinner, I had the lobster and shrimp. And of course, the hot lava chocolate melting cake with three scoops of vanilla ice cream. Our last day at sea, Karen and I hit our third workout of the cruise. We did some dumbbell incline, which adds an interesting balancing component being on a ship that is rocking back and forth. Then we hit some rows. Then we went, moved on to the lat pull down machine. Then we moved on to dumbbell lateral raises and my form was absolutely horrible. Whoops. Last day of the cruise, slept in this morning, had two cups of coffee. Karen and I just finished our third workout of the cruise. We did arms and back and a little bit of chest. And now I'm in the sauna, getting ready for lunch, and it's gonna be a great end of the cruise. For the last lunch, I had another big salad and another burrito with some chocolate and peanut butter chocolate cake. Then for dinner, I had some sort of onion soup. And then for the entree, I got shrimp and rice and of course, to be consistent, the melting cake and ice cream. The morning we disembarked, I had one last cup of creamy sweet coffee and some avocado toast with poached eggs. Very satisfying breakfast, and that's it. Wave goodbye.